So today, I've got my Lyra in the mail. I ordered it from Uplift Active about a week ago. Anyway, shipping did not take too long. It came all the way from China. Uh, it is a stainless steel 37 inch inner diameter hoop, which is the same size as the yellow and the blue hoop at Dimension. Um, those are from Beastly Built. This is from Uplift Active. It was on sale for $160, I believe. And then I paid around 50 to 60 for shipping. The total cost ended up being $209. I knew I would be taping it fully, so I didn't want to pay for powder coating or any pretty colors or glitter or anything, uh, which is why I went with Uplift Active. It seemed to be the best deal. And I do have an affiliate link in my bio, in my bio on Instagram and also in the description below. No discount code, just gives me a little bit um, of commission when you make a purchase from them. So let's go ahead and open her up. I hope I don't have to ship it back because I'm just I'm destroying this box. size Lyra. It is 38 inches when I ordered a 37 inch Lyra, um, which adds like three inches to the circumference. So it is a pretty big difference. Um, I tried it out hoping that maybe it would not matter too much or maybe I'd like it more. But when I invert to double knee hang on the top bar, my shoulders don't touch the bottom bar. I can't do back balance. Well, I can't do straddle back balance because my knees touch the bars instead of my thighs, so I can't hold on. Um, it does make things like magic trick easier or like a standing split easier, but overall it just made things harder. The, like I tried some moves that I do all the time and it just was very hard to maneuver around. Um, I do like the weight of it and it spun surprisingly well for how light it is and I love the feel of it. Um, so I'll have trouble deciding whether or not I want to tape it when my new one comes. But I emailed Uplift and they got back to me pretty quick. They are sending me a new one and they're paying for shipping for me to send this one back. So I need to put it back in the box. I hope I don't have to ship it back because I'm destroying this box. Tape it all up, make sure this is taped in, and then send it back off. Uh, they are a really small company. I'm pretty sure I was talking to the owner, Elaine, uh, when I was emailing her. and. They made it pretty easy. I did have to send them pictures of my Lyra with the measuring tape to show that it's 38 inches. So I'm very happy they were really quick to respond and quick to fix the situation. So anyway, now I'm gonna repackage it. So my Lyra finally arrived today while I was at work. I finally got shipping for it like Monday. Um, today is April 28th, so that shows you how long this process has been. It is taking forever and I finally got it today even though it said it was supposed to come tomorrow. And my landlord texted me and told me that she took it inside because there's been a bunch of package thefts in my area recently. Uh, so I'm going to grab it now. Um, I do have... So yeah, I don't know how to finagle that out of there, so I'm going to give this a try. It 
has been so long since I ordered this. Um, I haven't started editing that video and it's been so long since I opened it that I have no idea what I said at any point during it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and re-say that I ordered this too. size or not. I guess I can measure it again. It looks like 37 inches to me, so I'm happy with that. It doesn't, it's so hard to tell when I don't have any leather layers in front of me, but, and this is way lighter than my than the Beastly Boat Lyra's at the studio. Um, but since I've already played around with the other one, I know that the lightness isn't going to be an issue. It actually held it spin really well, which I was really surprised by. So I'm pretty stoked to go get to play around with this. Um, it is so pretty and shiny, and it feels like a pole, but I'm worried about it oxidizing over time, so I think I probably will still tape it, especially since that's why I bought it, is because I wanted to tape it. But I saw how pretty it was and got hesitant, but yeah, I'm super excited to try it. I'm really happy with Uplift Active and how they handled everything. Um, it was a little slow, but it got replaced. So I'm stoked about that. And I didn't have to pay for any extra shipping or anything. Um, and again, to reiterate, I ordered a 37 inch inner diameter Lyra based off measurements I took from the Lyras at my gym. That's why I knew what I wanted. And that's how I knew when I got on the 38 inch one that it was too big and same with the other instructors some of them played on it too and they're like wow this thing is huge and at first I was like ah oh, they're just shorter than me no it was huge it was very hard to do things I am super stoked to try this one out
now that I've had this hoop for about six months now, I figure it's about time I wrap up this video and stop procrastinating so I can get it uploaded. Um, it's now August, so I've been using it since whenever I got it. It's been fully taped for most of that. Um, the tape has held up remarkably well, much better than I expected considering how white color it is. I thought I would have to change it really quick, um, but overall it's held up really well. And I think I cut out the part in the beginning where I said what tape it was. It is Ariel Essentials Premium Bar Tape. Um, I picked Ariel Essentials because it is zinc free and zinc is what leaves that sticky residue all over your hands. Um, so I did not want that. And I find New Balm's the cotton tape to be too thick and too soft. I slide right off of it. I have a lot of trouble gripping onto New Balm's tape. So I'll probably keep buying Ariel Essentials. Um, I've also read that hockey tape is good, so I might try hockey tape because I found a really pretty pastel purple color. So I might try that color next. Um, but I do have a whole other roll of my Ariel Essentials. It took one roll to wrap the whole thing and one thing of pre-wrap, basically. Uh, so I do really like the hoop. I use it every single time I'm at the gym. I love having a hoop that is my size and fully taped. And there was a while where I wish I had just bought a beastly belt because my hoop is very light. And there are some moves, um, it just moves too easily. Like I was working on an outside the bar scorpion type move and it was just way too light. Um, it kept moving. It was not stable like a solid hoop would have been. Um, so next time I buy a hoop, I probably will buy beastly belt. Uh, just because I know I like the weight of those, and I probably won't fully tape the next hoop I buy. But now that I have one fully taped hoop I can use that's my size, um, that's, I'm happy with it, and I really like it, and their customer service was fantastic. So overall, I am very happy with my hoop, and uh, see you next time.